How to get kidney filtration. The following is some of the most important health information you will ever receive. The body has a sewer system to handle the waste from your trillions of cells. It's called your lymph system and it carries cellular waste to the kidneys where it's filtered then eliminated. If the kidneys get clogged, your sewer backs up. It's that simple. This is the cause of most so-called diseases, everything from acne to arthritis. Backed up lymph becomes acidic, causing pain and inflammation. Acids destroy joints, bones, skin, arteries, organs, etc. Toxic lymph is also a breeding ground for parasites, viruses, and fungus. This is why kidney filtration is so important. Here's a simple test to see if your kidneys are filtering. Don't consume any liquids three to four hours before bedtime. Urinate into a glass jar first thing in the morning. Don't worry about the color. If it's cloudy, your kidneys are filtering lymph. If it's clear, you've got some work to do. Here's how to get filtration. The first thing you've got to do is switch to a raw food diet of fruits and vegetables. Eat them or juice them fresh, it's up to you. Dairy, grains, meat, and cooked foods are inflammatory. Avoid them like the plague. Eat at least 80% raw fruit. Fruits get lymph moving and clean the kidneys. Acid fruits are the most cleansing. These include lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit, pineapple, strawberries, tangerines, cranberries, and tomatoes. Subacid fruits are the next best. Apples, blackberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, cherries, grapes, mangoes, nectarines, peaches, pears, plums, raspberries, and watermelon. Have a salad of fresh raw veggies for dinner or just have some fruit. For extra power, try a 100% grape or watermelon diet for a few days or even longer. A lemon juice fast can really kickstart stubborn kidneys. Try beetroot juice for a few days, but it's very powerful, so I'd mix it with other juices. If you experience kidney pain, stop immediately. Herbs can also help you get filtration. Parsley, ginseng, dandelion, corn silk, saw palmetto berries, and juniper berries are great for cleaning the kidneys. Nettle leaf tea makes a great daily tonic. Exercise. Since the lymph system has no pump like your blood system, it moves by capillary action when muscles contract or if it's physically moved. Light exercise like walking, bike riding, deep breathing, and yoga can help move lymph to the kidneys. Don't exercise hard or use a rebounder if you're not filtering. Alternating hot water with cold while showering moves lymph. Massage, including lymphatic massage and dry skin brushing, help too. Work on the adrenals as well. The adrenal glands control the kidneys, so they must be strong. A good way to check adrenal power is by your blood pressure. Your systolic or upper number should be around 120. Adrenal herbs can help bring this up. Siberian ginseng, licorice root, parsley, astragalus, and dandelion can help. When the kidneys finally break loose, you will see lots of sediment, or clouds in your urine. Inflammation will start going down and the body will alkalize and rehydrate. Tumors and cysts will disappear. Pain and swelling will subside. Damaged organs, tissues, and cells all over the body will begin to heal and regenerate. You will start to look and feel much younger and have lots more vitality. Congratulations, you're on the road to Wellville. This can take several days, weeks, or even months to get going. But be patient. The results are worth it. This is one of the greatest things you can do for yourself, so what are you waiting for? I wish you much luck and success on your journey, and may God bless. Okay, here's how to do a deep detox using fruit. Basically, we're made of chemicals. They're either acid or alkaline. Acids inflame, dehydrate, cause pain, and destroy. Alkalines are anti-inflammatory, hydrating, cooling, and replenishing. Lymph is our sewer system, and it surrounds every cell. When it backs up, it turns to acid. This is called acidosis, and it's the cause of most of man's suffering, everything from canker sores to cancer. Acidosis is caused from years of consuming acid-forming foods like dairy, grains, meat, refined sugars, etc. Foods high in protein also produce acids. 
Toxins in our water, food, cosmetics, and environment, even negative thoughts, anger, and stress produce acids. The body tries to remain alkaline, but in today's world, acids are winning. They're destroying our organs, joints, arteries, skin, etc., and literally taking years off our life. It's time we did something about it and take back our power. Fruit is a powerful way to detox the entire body. Fruit is alkalizing, and it gets stagnant lymph moving to the kidneys and the lymph nodes where acids, toxins, viruses, parasites, and unwanted bacteria can be gotten rid of. Don't forget, the lymph is also your main immune system, and it won't work right if it's a toxic cesspool. Acid fruits are the most alkalizing, even though they taste acidic. These include lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit, pineapples, strawberries, tangerines, cranberries, and tomatoes. They get rid of acids, get lymph moving, and are powerful at pulling toxins out and dissolving clogged lymph fluids. Remember, what you don't eliminate, you accumulate. Subacid fruits are the next best. Apples, blackberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, cherries, grapes, mangoes, nectarines, peaches, pears, plums, raspberries, and watermelon make up this group. Bananas, dates, figs, papaya, persimmon are the sweet fruits. They'll fill you up and give you lots of energy, but they're not that aggressive. I recommend at least an 80% fruit diet while detoxing. You can either eat the fruit or juice it. If you have a chronic or degenerative disease, you'll want to go 100% fruit until you improve. An all-grape diet is the most powerful and is used in tough cases. Health is energy and fruit is as close to pure energy as a food can get. Remember, the body is the healer and energy is at the core of all healing. Don't be afraid of fruit, it's what you're supposed to be eating. Scientific studies prove that humans are fruit eaters. Genetically, we're closest to the primates who are frugivores, not meat eaters or grass eaters. Our diet should be primarily fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Many believe that getting away from our natural diet has led to much of our chronic suffering. Fruit sugars are simple and the body thrives on them. Blood sugar levels tend to remain stable and can even go down during a detox. Unripe fruit is a source of acid in the diet, so don't eat it. Pineapples and kiwis are notorious for being picked unripe, thus very acidic. Bananas are the only fruit that ripens after it's picked. The rest just ferment and rot. Always eat slowly until satisfied. Don't overeat. It stresses the digestive system. Don't count calories and never go hungry. Always buy organic if possible. If you can't, remove the pesticides with a veggie wash. You can also eat some raw veggies. Leafy green salads are best. Add some cucumber, tomatoes, carrots, beets, jicama, purple onion, avocado, whatever. Squeeze a little lemon on it, and you've got yourself a filling meal. Veggies will, however, slow down a detox. Raw nuts and seeds should be used sparingly because they slow things down even more. To assist you in moving limp, do some light exercise, take a sauna, get a massage. Skin brushing helps too. Fruit is a strong cleanser and can stir up a lot of toxins and mucus. You may feel some side effects as the toxins leave the body. These can include headache, body aches, fatigue, irritability, emotional releases, dizziness, diarrhea, nausea, muscle cramps, high temperatures, nasal congestion, sore throat, etc. This usually lasts just a few days. Don't be afraid of a healing crisis. It's a sign that you're getting well. If you really need to slow down a detox, eat more salads. Steamed veggies and brown rice really slow it down. Start your detox slow by eating more salads and veggies and juicing less. Ease into it, but push your limits. You've got work to do. As a society, we now have some serious lymphatic problems. Getting well is not taking a pill. It's about unwinding what you've unknowingly created. You will not get rid of this in two weeks. You have to move lymph from head to toe, which is miles long and lots of work. When you begin to detox, your tongue will turn white, or even yellow, green, or brown. You should detox until your tongue turns pink again. The more toxic you are, the longer this will take. Have patience, it's worth it. Your body's incredible at self-healing if it's free of obstructions. It can heal and regenerate any cell from brain cells to toe cells. Focus on health. Lose your concept of diseases. They're just signs and symptoms that the body needs to clean and rebuild itself. Another benefit is that most people lose weight because the body protects itself from acids by buffering them with fat. When the acids are expelled, so is the fat. People have been eating raw living foods back before cancer, heart disease, and diabetes were claiming the lives of millions. Raw food is really not a diet at all. You can do this for the rest of your life and thrive. Your body will be constantly detoxifying, and you'll barely notice it once the deep cleaning is complete. Detoxification is one of the greatest things you'll ever do for yourself. Become alive again. Put your heart and soul into it. Always remember, love is alkalizing. Good luck and God bless.